What's up everybody? Welcome to The Revival. And today we're talking Nintendo 64 Boxed Collection. So first off, I wanted to start off by uh, saying you probably noticed, uh, I think this might be like the second video that I've had with the new intro on it. So I really want to give a shout out to uh, my friend Alex for throwing that together. Um, I think it's awesome um, and there's no way that I could personally do something that good. As you can tell from the quality of my videos, they're very, very MacGyver together in more ways than one. Uh, but yeah, su super, I, I love it and I think you did a great job with it. Um, also, you may have noticed the uh, the name change to the channel. Uh, it is no longer Reminiscence Revival, it is now Game Room Revival, um, mainly because one, I like the way it sounds, I think it sounds better, and two, uh, which is the real reason, I just got tired of trying to tell people how to spell it. So, that was, yeah. Uh, so, Nintendo 64 box collection, that's what I'm talking today. Uh, I don't have like huge, huge batch of them, but I do have a nice batch of them, games that I actually thought I did not have boxes for that I found uh, a couple of years ago uh, at my parents' place. I just was there, and every now and then I'll go hunting through the basement for like old stuff I used to have and stuff. And when I say every now and then, I mean like once every like five years. Um, <laughs> But I found a box that had a bunch of box games in it and stuff, and these were all in there. Well, most of them. Um, I've gotten a couple of them since then, but I was blown away because I think I've mentioned before, like, what I used to do when I was a kid. I would get a new game, and I would just rip the box off and toss it. And I know, kicking myself, because it's awful that I would do that. Um, <laughs> believe me, I kick myself all the time for when I think about it. Um, but the fact that I found a whole bunch of, of boxes in great condition, mind you, uh, they're, they're fantastic, uh, was, was awesome to, to see and uh, figured I'd show them off. We'll start at the top. Uh, these two I've already shown off a little bit. Um, I'm not going to go in depth with them or anything like that, and that's Nightmare Creatures and Cruising USA. I picked those up at a convention uh, recently um, here in Kansas City. Nakacon, and I talked about that in a recent pickups video, maybe my first one actually. So if you want to hear me talk a little bit more about those two games, go check them out. But either way, I'm, I'm happy to have these uh, added to the collection because I've got some, some great memories with those. Uh, next one is Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Dude, this game is so good. Like, holy crap. I loved it. The idea of being like a, a space fighter pilot has always been fascinating to me. Um, like, I think Elite Dangerous is a cool game, uh, and the other one that's that's the VR one that I can't think of that they kind of discontinued a little bit. haven't played it in a while, but I really liked it too. I'm really sorry, and I'll probably put the title on the screen down here, uh, but I am... I, I, I used to play the crap out of this game. And uh, as soon as I get this adapter that I'm, I plan on getting, uh, that I mentioned for my for my new Nintendo 64 machine, this will be one that I'm definitely popping in and playing because it's it's so awesome. Uh, really tough though, from what I remember. And I, uh, yeah, just really really fun time. Mario Party 2. Um, actually, I can probably do not much to say with with these two. I mean, it's Mario Party. Fantastic. This is the first Mario Party game that I ever got. And uh, I was blown away that I sold the box for it. Um, in addition to uh, Mario Tennis, had no idea that I had the box for that either. Uh, both of these had such a great time. Nintendo is so good at just making local multiplayer. And nowadays, with everything being online, you don't need it as much. But the memories that you make with some of these games, you know, back in the day, um, it, you, you really can't compare it to anything because it was just it was just so much fun to just have your buddies around and just just play these games sitting next to each other, you know, whether you're doing co-op or against each other, anything like that, it was just such a blast. 
and I got a lot of replay out of both of these games. Paper Mario. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this game a lot more than I thought I was, because when I first heard that they were making a new Super Mario RPG, I was like, sweet, awesome, and then they were like, it's Paper Mario, and I was like, what? But I enjoyed it. I had a really good time. I'm still, I was still a little meh on the idea of just having one party member with you in battle at all times, but beyond that, the game itself had, had so much charm, and it was just a delight to play. Um, and I really, really enjoyed the hell out of it, so very, very happy to have that one as well. And then, of course, Smash Brothers. Everybody's, everybody has to have Smash Brothers. Maybe not Box, but everybody has to have Smash Brothers. Uh, the original, um, the first commercial for this was just so funny. Just the Nintendo characters just beating the crap out of each other, and then everybody was like, oh, it's, it's alright, cool. And then you see the game, and it's like, oh my god, that's literally what it is. It's just Nintendo characters beating the crap out of each other. Uh, and it's fun. It's still fun to this day. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the new one for the Switch coming out here pretty soon. Well, in a few months. Perfect Dark. I am... I don't know if I like this more than Goldeneye. I think there were times when I did. Um, but at the same time, I, I played Goldeneye so much more. This was... This was fun because you could play with bots and you could like make your own uh, side games and stuff like that. And I, I had a lot of fun doing that to just kind of get better. Um, and I like ranking up and, and saving your stats and that kind of stuff. Uh, the single player was tougher though. It was tougher than Goldeneye. Goldeneye was was pretty simple. Uh, this one, to be honest with you, I'm not sure I ever beat the final level. I know I got to it a few times, um, but it's a, it's a great game nonetheless. Uh, and that that's obviously the game you compare it to Goldeneye because it's very very similar. Which I wish I had that in a box. Uh, Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> I, I mentioned in a previous video about Pokemon Red and Blue. When I heard this was coming out and that I was going to be able to take my team from Blue, which I, I mentioned I put so many hours into that game, I was ecstatic that I was going to get to see him like in full 3D models and stuff like that. I, I was just so stoked that that was going to be a thing that I could do. And so, of course, you know, it came out day one. I was there, picked it up. That's all it is. I was a little disappointed there wasn't more to it other than just being like, oh, cool, look, I can fight my dudes in 3D. That's it. Uh, but, you know, it, it wore off quick, but at the same time, while I was having fun with it, I had a lot of fun with it because it was just so cool to see your, your little 2D... Uh, Pokemon come to life. That was really, really neat. And then, I don't think either of these games need any introduction either. Uh, and I was blown away that I had both of them boxed, uh, instructions, everything. Um, like, wow. Ocarina of Time? Played the hell out of it. I've only beaten it once, and that's because it's there's so much to it. There, there's people who love this game so much, like they played it and beat it repeatedly. Like I bought it on the 3DS, but as soon as I started playing it, I was like, "This is daunting. I don't know that I want to go through this whole thing again." Um, I loved it. I absolutely loved every minute of it. But once I got done, I was like, "I don't know that I'm going to necessarily go through it again." Um, and not because it wasn't a great game, just because it was that heavy for me, at least. Uh, and then Majora's Mask. I think I've mentioned this before, I have not finished this game, and that's because not because I didn't like it, it's not because I didn't think that the story was neat or that the gameplay was good, it was the timer mechanic. I did not like that. I hate. It's the same reason that I'm not huge on like Valkyria Chronicles. I played the first one, but I have no desire to play any the other ones, and the main reason is because I hate having to redo long segments uh, of, of game. Um, what I mean by that is, like, in this, you, Valkyria Chronicles, you play for a battle, and if you get, like, you know, 30, 40 minutes into that battle, and all of a sudden you make one mistake, you're like, crap, and then you have to start all over again. And you keep doing it over and over again. If there's a part you can't get past, and you keep wanting to just do that one little part again, but you have to keep playing 40 minutes to get there, it's like, dude, I, that's just, that's just not me. I don't have the patience for it. Um, but... Majora's Mask was kind of the same thing with its three-day reset cycle. 
it just got so frustrating to, like, and I know it doesn't bother some people, but it really bothered me that I would be like, all right, cool, I'm about to finish this dungeon. Oh, crap, I have to restart the cycle, and then I have to go from the beginning of the dungeon again. And granted, you know, it unlocks some stuff along the way, which, which stays unlocked and stuff, and you don't have to go through the entire dungeon again. But at the same time, it was still knowing that I had to go back to the beginning again. I, I did not like that, and it's unfortunate. I, I, I can't say that I will never play it again. Um, I just can't say when, because I every time I think about it, I'm just like, ugh. I don't know. But yeah, both great games nonetheless. Uh, can't can't really other than that small gripe on this one. Um, can't really can't really pull a huge gripe to me. But yeah, uh, so that's my N64 box collection. Uh, as always, thank you for watching and keep on gaming.